Hello. Today we're going to learn how to create a blob tracking system in a simple, efficient, and easy to understand way. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an approach that works the same as the classic blob tracking method, but with one important improvement. We're going to use fewer operators. This not only makes the network much cleaner visually, but also improves overall performance and makes the project easier to organize. If you're looking for a more organized and efficient way to work with blob tracking, you'll love this method. Let's start by importing the video. To do this, add the movie file in Operator and load any file you have on hand. This video will be our visual source for working with the blob track. Next, add the blob track and cache operators. Connect the output of the movie file in operator to the input of the cache operator. Then, connect the output of the cache operator to the second input of the blob track operator. Once everything is connected, disable the active option in the cache operator's parameters panel. Next, let's access the data generated by the tracking. Click the small arrow icon in the lower right corner of the blob track operator. Connect that table to the DAT to chop operator. Within the operator, configure the following options. In the field named output, select channels per columns. In first row, select names. In first column, select values. And in the select calls field, enter ID and V. Once this is done, add the rename operator to change the channel names. It's important to rename them to text, x, and y in that exact order, as we'll need them later with those specific names. Now, add the expression operator. This operator will allow you to correctly scale the coordinates. Within it, add three spaces to write expressions, one for each channel. The first space represents the ID, so we leave it unchanged. In the next two, corresponding to the X and Y positions, write an expression that multiplies their value by the video resolution. This way, we adapt the position values to the actual size of the visual content. Next, convert the numeric channels back into a table using the chop to DAT operator. In this operator, enable the include names option to retain the channel names. Finally, you can add a null operator to mark the end of this step. Now let's visualize the data. Connect a composite operator to the output of the blob track. Then, add a text operator and connect it to the composite as well. Within the composite operator, change the blending mode to under, which will place the text above the image. Then, drag the null operator, which contains the process data, to the DAT specification field within the text operator. Finally, make sure the resolution of the text operator matches that of the original video. With all this, you now have a functional, clean, and efficient blob tracking system. If you want to add additional visual elements, such as lines or custom styles for your blobs, you can reuse the same logic you've already built, making only the minimal adjustments necessary. Thank you for following this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and inspires you to continue exploring and creating in Touch Designer.